Approximately 489 people walk between Zealand East and Zealand West High Schools every day on a path that is approximately 11.3 feet wide. It is a huge struggle to get by to your classes on such a narrow path, with two people on your left and three on your right. Space is not the only issue. Walking in the freezing cold and on rainy days is also a problem. Some people say that having a path between schools is a good thing. They argue that it brings more opportunities to students of both schools. Although this may be a good point, some people don't see it that way. The students tend to disagree. We need to tunnel because otherwise we get frostbitten and it's awful. It's awful and the snow gets in your shoes and your shoes get wet no matter what boots you wear. It sucks. Yeah. I've had to walk every hour for the past two years and it, it is not fun. And it's, it's, it's nice during the summer but when the winter comes, it sucks. Um, the positives outweigh the negative when it comes to that. And I suspect there's probably a handful of times throughout the year that it's bad in terms of rain or it's really cold and that sort of thing. So my guess is, uh, does that, just because of, I'm going to say five days, is that worth it to shut down everything? I'd say probably not. Plus you have to get outside at some point, don't you? To walk to your bus, to walk in from school, wherever. Um, if you go to college, you're going to be walking between buildings anyway. So it's... Uh, it's not that big of a deal. Um, we will have buses if it's really bad in terms of rain. Snow, we do plow it, we do salt it. Um, it just comes with the territory. Now again, the positives outweigh the negative in terms of we can have two high schools now very close to each other with different programs in each, but we can share all that. So is that worth it? For example, if you're taking physics, um, if we had physics here just at the high school in terms of, of West, we couldn't offer it, we don't have enough students. But now since we have east and west, we can put all of them together. So if you're a physics student, aren't you excited? You're, you're excited to go, does that mean walking? Yeah, but that's not the biggest thing in the world. So you have to walk over there, but you're getting your class that you want. It's pretty nice in the summer, but in the winter it kind of stinks because it's cold and it's windy. And then it's icy, so people are falling, but it kind of stinks. <laughs> um, I like it when it's nice outside because it's like fresh air, but it kind of sucks when it's like winter. Yeah, I mean, I like, I like it when it's nice and hot out, like and nice and warm and the sun shining on you. But like when you have to hold an umbrella up and it kind of sucks with the snow. Or like I've fallen like completely. Oh my god, but because of the ice and then you like knock over other people. <laughs> <laughs> Which kind of isn't good either. So we, We're not trying to play bowling here. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Students of both schools believe that the only solutions are either not walking at all or building a tunnel that stretches between each school. But can that actually be done? Uh, we should get one of those cover things that goes over the top of the path. Yeah, like it doesn't have dope. to be like a tunnel tunnel, that would just be something dope. that goes the top or like across yeah. the top. Because when it rains and when it snows, it sucks. They should make it so there's no water on the path anymore. You know, those puddles. It pisses me off, dude. I wear nice shoes. We could always build a tunnel like we have in the corner over there. But we could also just, I don't know, we could always become two different schools. I don't know. <laughs> uh, the solution is definitely a tunnel. Even if it's not heated, it would block the wind and the snow from getting in your face and it'd be a lot warmer. Maybe put something over top of it. Like or not walking. Yeah, there's an idea. There's wow. a great, you know, that's right there. 
you know, I mean, we're already, you know, competitive towards each other with the, uh, the games. I don't know, we have enough classrooms at both schools, like, and obviously, if we, like, we're, like, trading kids, so if we just all kind of, like, stay where we're supposed to be. And it kind of gets confusing with the teachers. Yeah. But in terms of the path, we have always said, always, always said, if you win a lottery, you donate a pathway, covered pathway, we'll put your name all over it. So, there it is.